Well, hello everybody. Today was a very merry Kapara Christmas for me. I've uh, been begging my wife uh, for <laughs> to get me this knife for Christmas uh, when I saw it on a stellar Smoky Mountain Knife Works uh, sale uh, for Black Friday. And yeah, seeing pictures of this thing on Instagram and watching a couple other videos and the fact that I hadn't bought a spider coat in a really long time, I was like, you know what? I, I kind of I really want this one. I really like it. I like the slim profile of it, the blade length being about three and a half inches, um, nice and lightweight, uh, slicey, slicey blade, not that spider coat's blades period no matter which knife you get of theirs they have very slicey blades and put a pretty darn good edge on them um so yeah i just i i slowly fell in love with this knife and said yes i have to get it especially especially at that like 166 168 dollar price tag that smoky mountain knife works put on it for black friday i was like I can't say no. I can't. So, um, these are uh, Rips Garage Tech um, scales on here. This is their linen micarta. It was a red linen micarta when it came. Uh, it was a it was a beautiful red, but it was a light red, um, and it made the linen look great. Uh, I kind of wanted a more darker red and a more richer red, being a Christmas capara. That's what I'm calling it, my Christmas Kapara. Um, so I rip dyed them the racing red and uh, and darkened them up. Uh, the scales that originally came with it uh, were Spyderco's uh, black carbon fiber, and it had a G10 spacer in there. So uh, yeah, which the contrast when I first looked at them pulled it out of the box. The contrast of the red and black looked freaking awesome. So, I'm thinking about taking the backspacer, that's the linen micarta, and bleaching the heck out of it, pull as much color out as I can, and then re rit dye it black to create that contrast. It'll just be the opposite um, color combo. It'll be red scales with black spacer instead of uh, vice versa. Uh, so, that's my thoughts uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it. Y'all convince me. Please just let me know whether or not you think I should and whether or not that would look awesome. I know it'll look awesome, but should I do it or shouldn't I do it? Tell me what y'all think. Um, yeah, just totally fell in love with this knife. The blade shape, the slim profile, the ergos are fantastic. You can choke up on it. Uh, you can do all the reverse flicks and and uh, multiple ways of opening and closing with the uh, wonderful uh, Spyderco compression lock. Y'all want to see some text to your vision? If the camera will focus. Yeah, that's linen micara. It's which has a very very awesome uh, velvety uh, grippy like just a little bit of grip velvety grip texture to it. It's it's a it's a great texture and uh, Rips Garage Tech does a fantastic job making these scales and they're under seventy five bucks uh, at least for the these micarta ones uh, they they do uh, some of the, his other materials go a little bit more up in price but to be able to you know not have to spend more on the scales than what the knife cost is is a beautiful thing is is a wonderful way. To go, um, so thank you, Rips Garage Tech. You know, tiny little shout out to them. Check out their scales, um, and they're uh, USA made, uh, made in uh, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. So, the Christmas gnomes approve of the Christmas Capara, and who doesn't like freaking candy canes, right? So, um, made this uh, uh, beautiful serving board for for my wife for Christmas it's a nice little serving board we love to do devour uh, your summer sausage cheese and crackers uh, set up so this is a wonderful serving board 
for that I can slice everything up on a regular cutting board and then just throw it out on this board and bring it into the living room bedroom wherever and uh, snack away on it so yeah that's all I got for y'all today happy holidays if you're watching this right around the Christmas time uh, and uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video peace out